Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Trump will be facing off in Philadelphia tonight. They're going to be debating at a pivotal time with just weeks to go until the election and polls showing a tight race. Rebecca Castor has more. All eyes here on the city of brotherly love tonight, but that is likely not going to be the sentiment we see between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. It's uh, the most unusual election preseason that I've, I've ever seen. The presidential race could come down to 90 minutes tonight when the candidates take part in what could be their only debate. For Vice President Kamala Harris, it's her first time on the biggest debate stage in the world, having to defend her record and face a rare round of sustained questioning. She has not answered questions. She's not had unscripted moments. She's not spoken directly to voters. The vice president has been prepping for the last week with a mock debate stage and a stand-in for Donald Trump. Her campaign says Harris will hold the former president accountable. One thing we know about Donald Trump, is he can't basically get through a sentence without saying something that's even a little bit hyperbolic. Tonight marks Trump's seventh general election debate. His team has downplayed preparation efforts, saying that unlike Harris, the former president has been constantly answering unscripted questions. He obviously has a, a record of success that he can stand on, uh, and he's going to challenge Kamala Harris on exactly that. Others suggest Trump should show restraint to draw in female voters. You don't need to call Kamala dumb. She didn't get this far, you know, just by accident. This will be the last chance for Trump and Harris to impress some voters. Several battleground states should be sending out mail-in ballots this month. In Philadelphia, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.